nearly every week we get questions from customers about Sterno chafing fuel. I'm Thaddeus Smith, executive chef at Sterno Candle Lamp, and what we thought we'd do is answer the questions we get most often. First question is from Frank, an event planner in Pittsburgh. He asks, what is the ideal chafing fuel to use for my event? Well, there are a number of variables that go into this, but the number one thing you want to keep in mind is how long is your event going to be? If it's going to be a two hour event, obviously we'd want to use a two hour fuel. If it's going to be longer, you could use a four, five or six hour. We've got a lot of information out there about the different types of fuels that we have, but a very quick answer to that is if you have a two hour event, I would recommend going with a two hour gel product or a two hour wick product. If your event's going to be longer, use a longer fuel for that. Next question. Uh, Karen, a banquet manager in Vienna, Virginia writes, how can I make sure that the food will be at the proper and safe serving temperature in the chafing dish? Great question. The, the key to this is two parts. One, you want to make sure that the water in the water pan is hot. I would say 110 or above. You want it very, very warm when you start. You don't want it cold, you want it hot. You also want to make sure that the food that you're putting into the pans is at a safe serving temperature of 140 degrees and above. Best way to do that is with one of these instant read thermometers. So always think hot when you're thinking uh, about safe serving temperatures for your food. Okay, next question. Jennifer from San Diego asks, what's the best way to use chafing fuel with non-traditional warming units? What you wanna do here is you wanna make sure you're working in zones. So let's say your device is rectangular in shape. Place the fuel to one side, light it, put the top on. Now you're working in zones. You have one side that is very hot. You have another side that is just warm from the radiating heat. So one side could have the protein for like fajitas on the other side that you would have tortillas. With a round device, you can take chafing fuel, put it right in the center, put the top on. Now the center is going to be very hot, but as the heat radiates out, it's going to provide a nice warm bed for your appetizers or even your entrees for that matter. And they'll stay nice and warm and at a nice serving temperature. A sous chef in New York asks, what's the best way to dispose of spent fuel cans? This varies from county to county. The best thing to do is contact your local authorities. They'll give you all the information you need to know to dispose of spent fuel cans. For more information about fuel safety, plus all our other products, please visit sternocandlelamp.com.